You know who it is. What's going on, guys? I am back making YouTube videos after a bit of a hiatus since my last YouTube video, which was in, like, May or something. Uh, I built up my base and my training towards the Parks Half Marathon, which I ran on September 9th, and I ran really well there, uh, 118.37, which was around my goals of six minute pace per mile. And now I am building up for another half marathon in March, the DC Rock and Roll Half, where I really want to bang out another PR, because that's what we always want to do. We always want to be better than we were before. So that means today's workout, I'm not going to be doing anything ridiculous. I will be doing six by five minutes at threshold pace, followed by five minutes easy. And because I really want to get my pace down, I'm going to do it on the treadmill so that I know exactly how fast I'm going. And because after it's all said and done, I want to get video footage of my form, how I run, and try to compare it with videos of some professional athletes to really see where I may need to improve, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, that sort of stuff. So without further ado, let's go! So obviously, like with any run, you gotta start with a warm-up. I usually do two miles because that gives me about enough time, gives my legs enough time to warm up. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, here we go. told you I get sweaty, uh, so I might as well just jump right into it. Just jump right into it. It takes so long to get to the right place. Come on, let's go. A couple things I want to mention quickly before starting this form analysis. Number one, my form is going to look slightly different than it normally would on the roads because I'm uh, recruiting different muscle fibers running on the treadmill. Second, whenever I start running on a treadmill, before I get used to the pace, it always feels like I'm sprinting. So that kind of messed with my mind a little and made me a little tight. So here we see my cadence looks pretty good actually, right around 180 steps per minute. Um, I'm not lifting my knees as high as the pros would or kicking back as much as they would, but that might be because I'm not running as fast as they are. Now if we look at my foot placement when I land, it seems like I'm doing a decently good job at landing under, under my center of gravity. I'm a little bit farther out than I could be, but in general not too bad. The biggest issue I see here is that I'm not using my uh, glutes or my hamstrings enough, which is the reason why I'm not as bouncy as some of the pro runners you'll see. Speaking of pro runners, let's now compare my form to that of the certified GOAT of the marathon, Elliot Kipchoge, in his breaking two attempt. So he's using a pretty optimal cadence here of around 180 to 185 steps per minute. Uh, there is no wasted motion at all. He looks like a metronome. His feet are coming up behind him. Uh, he's lifting his quads well. Basically, everything in the lower half is perfect. Now back to me. Let's look at my upper body and arms for a minute. Now as you can see, my arm action here looks very stiff and forced. My shoulders are locked, my elbows are locked, It, I basically look like a robot. Plus, you may not be able to tell from this angle, but I hang my right arm a lot lower than my left arm. Whereas my man Kipchoge here is the epitome of relaxation. His arm action is just so smooth and organic, he holds his arms, by the way, a little higher than I do. And I think there is some debate over what the correct arm 
position is when you're running long distances, but Kipchoge runs a 201.39 marathon, so I think he knows what he's doing. Now going over to the back side, we're pretty good here, but one thing I do want to mention is my right foot is pointed outward a lot more than my left foot with the heel um, pointed inward, which may be the cause actually now that I think about it for some of the ankle heel problems I've been having. Whereas Kipchoge here, his feet are straight as an arrow. No delineation whatsoever. It's beautiful. Also, he rocks a lot less from, from side to side than I do. Probably partly because of his feet being so straightforward. So that's pretty much all I got in terms of analyzing form. Uh, obviously, the goal of this exercise is not to copy exactly the form of these pro athletes because us mere mortals aren't going to be able to do that. But it is nice to see what good running form generally looks like. And personally, I think it's important for everyone who wants to become a better runner to go out there, film themselves running, and analyze their form because most of the time, it's not enough to just know what proper running form looks like. You have to also see what you look like while running and try to see where you need to improve. So that's all for now, and uh, I will see you later.